All right, here we are. Game one between Vici and IGV. This is the upper bracket finals, I want to say. Let me take a look really quick. It is. Winter finals. All right. So this is the upper bracket finals, and, um... You know, that was some great music you guys listened to, wasn't it? Amazing. Solid. Of course. And, um... You know, not just uh, the sound of my brown keys. But uh, we got Vici versus IGV to start this game off. Crystal made an Earth Spirit picked up for Vici Gaming, as well as the bands of Warlock, Venge, and Beastmaster. And then IG Vitality, they've banned out Monkey King, Magnus, and Terraboid. Now TA, and then they've picked up Nyx Assassin and Invoker. So uh, we get into this draft already. We've got... The du duo support squad of Crystal Maiden and Earth Spirit, which I really love. Um, you know, this is a support duo that does very well together uh, with the Rolling Boulder, Frostbite early on, and then Crystal Nova for the slows. It's, um, it's really good early game, and it helps out mids. Invoker, I wouldn't be surprised to be up against Alina on Vici if that gets picked. But, uh, you know, Lena's very good to work with Earth Spirit and Crystal Maiden. Rolling Boulder in, um, Frostbite, and then Light Strike Array is very nice uh, combination. And then Vici, they've also picked up Life Stealer. So, Life Stealer's been picked up, Crystal Maiden, and Earth Spirit. It's a solid trio of heroes picked up for Vici thus far who uh, have not lost a game in this qualifier, have not dropped a, a game at all yet. And then we take a look down low at IGV. They've picked up Nyx and Invoker. So Nyx, Invoker, uh, we could assume that Nyx is going to be four for now. I don't see any reason why he'd be the offlaner at this moment in time. Uh, so obviously Invoker is going to be your mid for IG Vitality. And we'll have to see. It's uh, going to be interesting with Paparazzi, Cicada, Injoy, Dogfights, and Super for IGV. And uh, they've picked up Nyx Assassin Invoker. I like it. The Impale is very nice. Spike Carapace is always uh, great as well for IGV. So we'll have to see how both these teams fare. And uh, see how this third pick comes out for IG Vitality. They're still looking for a safe winner. They're looking for another support. Probably a position five support for them. And there it is. It's going to be the uh, Oracle. So Oracle, Invoker, Nyx Assassin, Life Stealer, Earth Spirit, Crystal Maiden, and 3-3 three, three, IG Vitality. Those first three picks, Vici Gaming, those second three picks. And, um, you know, want to think that Vici... With Centaur still on the board, Five seconds remaining. Yeah, you could go to that Centaur in the off lane. Reserve time. And um, for IG Vitality, if they do go with the Nyx Assassin off lane, they've got their off and their mid and safe lane. Could maybe see a Spectre come out. Morphling's pretty nice. Omni but uh, Omni Knight comes out for Vici, and that's going to be their offlaner. So Vici, offlane, Omni Knight. We saw this, I think, the other night. I'm not too sure. I don't think it fared too well. Um, but Omni Knight, Life Stealer, Earth Spirit, Crystal Maiden is a pretty solid combination up against what IGV have at this point in time. So, IGV, Oracle, Nyx Assassin, Invoker, Invoker, and then they've picked up the Ursa. I was thinking about Invoker getting picked up for IGV. It seemed like that kind of draft for him, but I'm not really too sure how I like it up against this Omni Knight. 
So, Ursa, Oracle, Invoker, Nyx, VG, Crystal Maiden, Earth Spirit, Life Stealer, and uh, Omni Knight. So, West Bands are going to come out. You still need a mid for VG. Wouldn't be surprised to see it as Alina. Could see an. I would want to say maybe an Alchemist come out, but I don't know how much I like that. Uh, Puck would be a pretty solid choice for VG. And then, uh, Ten seconds remaining. IGV. Let's see. If, if they throw Nyx as a position four, maybe we see something better in the offlane. Something could be like that Centaur. Still up on the board. But it is going to be Paparazzi Invoker. And, uh... One of the better mids out there, so Vici are definitely trying to counter this as well as they can. Five seconds remaining. So let's see what IGV do with this last pick. Ursa, Oracle, Invoker, Nyx Assassin, Vici, Crystal Maiden, Earth Spirit, Life Stealer, Omni Knight. They still need a mid there for Vici Gaming, and we'll, we'll have to see what they... I Again, I'm going to say I like Lena. Um, maybe we see something like a Puck, something that has a little bit of mobility for Vici to get in there with the Infest. Uh, infest with the Illusory Orb coming through uh, with Dream Coil would be pretty nice. But IG Vitality, they do pick up that Bat Rider, so gonna be a four position Nyx. With uh, Bat Rider in the off lane, Ursa safe lane, Invoker mid, and Oracle the five position. So Vici, Crystal Maiden, Earth Spirit, Life Stealer, Omni Knight. Let's see what they go with next. They've got 15 seconds to finish it off. And let's see. Uh, what they go with five more seconds here. Phantom, Phantom Assassin. Assassin. So Phantom Assassin mid up against Invoker. I've seen a couple of Phantom Assassins mid. It hasn't worked out either time. I'm not too sure how I like it here. Of course, if they do get to the late game, that with Guardian Angel. Uh, Phantom Assassin. Phantom, Phantom Assassin, excuse me. Uh, should be uh, pretty interesting. I do like Phantom Assassin with Earth Spirit and Crystal Maiden. Uh, definitely some potential for kills early on in the mid lane. Uh, IG Vitality, mid Invoker, always potential for kills with Oracle and Nyx coming over uh, if they do smoke well enough. Bat Rider, uh, Bat Rider's played as sometimes a pretty aggressive off laner. We'll have to see how they lane out for Vici, but Bat Rider, he gets a couple of stacks of Sticky Napalm on, and a nice Firefly comes through, and if there's nothing to stop it, and there really isn't on this Vici gaming squad, they have the stun of the Boulder Smash from Earth Spirit, as well as the Frostbite from Crystal Maiden, but that's it. They have the slow of Stifling Dagger, but there's no real stun to really stop this Bat Rider from going in hard. So Paparazzi Invoker, super on that Oracle, dogfights with the Nyx. In July, playing that Bat Rider, and then um, that is Sakata on the Ursa. A little Sunstrike to see if they're smoking. Well, let's take a look over up top as we do see End is going to be on the Life Stealer. Over on the Omni Knight is going to be Yang. We're going to see HYM on the Earth Spirit Schwan playing the uh, Crystal Maiden, and Ori is going to be mid on that Phantom Assassin. So this is definitely an interesting call from Vici with the mid Phantom Assassin. I'm not too sure how much I really like this. Uh, it's someone who can really take a beating from an Ursa with the mischance of Blur at 50%. You like that evasion. You don't want to be blown up by Ursa who's going to be getting those phase boots, that blink to get into the face of Vici. Obviously, the purification, the repel is there for Yang. I really like that. 
up against Ursa, and if they can get Ursa kind of kited out with the Earth Spirit and the Crystal Maiden, they do stand a chance in these early engagements, but that's going to be interesting when you've got an Invoker who can get in there, get a nice Tornado, EMP. These heroes on Vici, they need to get, really get into the face of IG Vitality, and Invoker's one of those heroes, kind of hit from the outside, throw a couple of spells into the mix, and that'll ultimately serve to be a problem up against this IG Vitality lineup. So we just gotta remember there is Guardian Angel available, so Fortune Zen's gonna come through from Super. They've got the Frostbite as well as the bol Rolling Boulder. They've got the Purification. Sakata getting very low for this First Blood, and it will go the way of Yang. So First Blood already for Vici. A little aggressive with uh, Super going for the Fortune Zen out on these three to get them all, uh, all three of them locked in, but... It's only level one, not really working too much for them. And Ursa's going to be that first blood going to Yang the offlaner. And with that, he's got a little bit of a boost over on this Ursa. So I kind of like that. So we take a look over mid as it's Paparazzi Invoker. He showed himself to be a very good Invoker early on in DAC and he's pretty low taking a bit of a harassment from Ori with the rolling boulder coming in from HYM they're gonna get paparazzi very low but now he's under tower these creeps are gonna take the shots they need one more stifling dagger the sun strike comes through but not gonna land on either of them and HYM he's gonna be in a bit of trouble as now he's stuck in these trees and fortune's end coming his way he knows he's kind of dead to rights but with that he's gonna rolling boulder and deny himself to ancients so it does work out for Vici they get the kill mid on Paparazzi, and HYM, he gets the escape, and he'll die to neutral, so he'll be okay with giving that one up. And it's now 2 to nothing, Vici. So we take a look up top, Chuan up here with and Chuan. Chuan? I think I'm saying that wrong. And, uh, and... He's on this life stealer now up against Sakata. Sakata, who's come to the off lane, and that is going to push in July bottom. Now, Yang is here with the purification. He's going to be eating those sticky napalm stacks, but again, in July is going to be very vulnerable to get ganked on if both the Earth Spirit come here with Crystal Maiden. But right now, they're up top, and dogfights. He's only got himself an impale, so he needs to be very careful. He's here with Sakata, so it's a position for. Nyx on uh, for dogfights, and then Sakata, he's trying to get this carry Ursa, but he's already had a tough time giving up that first blood. So let's see if they do go in on Sakata once more. The open wounds up against Sakata should be nice with the Rolling Boulder Frostbite. And now level 2 is this Crystal Maiden with the Crystal Nova, so the slow is available for him as well. We take a look over mid as HYM's coming through as Paparazzi, not too low, but eating Stifling Dagger shots again and again and again. So let's see if they do go in one more time with the Rolling Boulder. Stifling Dagger is just going to continue to get thrown the way of Paparazzi. As it's only 25 mana, so really not much to care about. They're just waiting for their moment as HYM is really looking for the Rolling Boulder. They get it with the Stifling Dagger. They're looking for more. The Blink Strike going to give them a couple extra shots on Paparazzi. That'll push him back. He still has the salve to keep himself in lane. And uh, there is no shrine up top for Vici. So the mana, it's going to be pretty low for Ori. No bottle, no clarities, no nothing. So Stifling Dagger is uh, not going to be there too much for Ori up against Paparazzi one more time. And that should be interesting because there's no uh, Phantom Strike out either. So Paparazzi, he might have the opportunity to go in on Ori if he's not too careful in this mid middle lane. Meanwhile, we take a look up top. There is the Rolling Boulder coming through. They also get the Boulder Smash out of Sakata. The Fortune Zen comes out onto the Purifications there from Yang. They're looking for more. They're looking to get Sakata, and they will. Yang gets him a second time. And with four up top, Vici get Ursa again and put themselves up three to nothing. So it's going very well for Vici early on, three to nothing, four minutes in. That's a bit of gold going their way, and there wasn't much that the side of IGV could do about that. And Sakata's gonna stay up top, but all four are still here. They're gonna look for it again. Sakata, he's gotta back off knowing that this is gonna come in close. They know he was just around the corner, so hopefully they can stay safe in front of this top tier one. 
So Yang, ma Yang has made the move up top. He's here with the Crystal Maiden. We take a look down low. HYM's going to be here now with a healed up end. So they've switched lanes knowing that uh, Lifestealer end can kind of find himself a little bit a letter, uh, better last hits down bottom. So let's see how this works. They've got HYM who is in Viz right now. Going to be looking for that Boulder Smash. They get the open wound. So let's see if they're going to go with it. Boulder Smash as well as the Rolling Boulder. He's going to use that Firefly. There's the stun coming out. He's also got that Firefly still rolling. And the Double Impale comes out from Dogfights. HYM, he's in a whole bunch of trouble. Three stacks of Sticky Napalm. And it will be enough to get the kill. They turn it around. I'm surprised they didn't go with the Rolling Boulder and Boulder Smash from Earth Spirit. So a bit of a misplay from Vici getting a little too confident. But the rotation does fly in from dogfights, and let's see if that's an opening for Vici up top. So Sakata Yang, uh, just going to trade some blows and trade purification out. Well, meanwhile, Shuan is just going to continue to level up with that frostbite over in these jungle creeps. Uh, with the pulled lane coming his way. So he's already level 3, just about to hit level 4. He's got one in all three of his skills at the moment in time. And we take a look over bottom at yet, uh, at end, excuse me, who's got two in the two in rage and one in open wounds, as well as one in feast. So let's see what he does with that. Meanwhile, let's take a look. HYM, he's smoked up here with Crystal Maiden, Schwan. So we'll have to see how he goes around this. They are not under ward vision. Paparazzi, if he moves up too far, might be in a little bit of trouble. But the smoke does break, and Paparazzi moves back. That's a wasted opportunity from Vici. Something they could really rely on to get some kills. And there it is already with a nice Firefly. They've already got Lasso with the Sun Strike. And again, a gank is going to go the wrong way for Vici. So they started this so well. Vici throwing away two kills on some botched ganks. Not too great for them. And Yang, one more shot. Oh, Purification keeps him alive. Sakata trying to run his way. Yang. Okay. Yang turns around. There's the rolling boulder in. The boulder smash from HYM to get the return kill. But an interesting move from Yang to turn around. I'm not too sure of the reasoning for that Omni, <laughs> Omni Knight turnaround, but I mean, maybe he just wanted to keep Sakata in lane, but you feed him some gold. Maybe not the best of moves, but he's only got himself phase boots and seven and a half minutes in. That's about time for uh, us to switch to the net worth. And you see top two net worth are going to be Phantom Assassin as well as Omni Knight. And then third to that is going to be the Batrider in July. And then after that is Vici's end on Lifesteal. So very much... Um, Oh, uh, not solid and significant lead for Vici in terms of cores who have gold over IG Vitality. As we take a look, it's, you know, Ursa and Invoker behind three of the cores on Vici. Not by much, but it is something. As three come bottom to now harass Sakata again on this Ursa. And they're just looking to make something happen and push back Sakata and really force him to be uncomfortable in this lane. And that's exactly what they're going to do as he's moved on into the jungle. He needs to be very careful. He's actually going to look to uh, pull, but he screws it up. So there's Rage again. As they do catch dogfights, not in Vendetta, but he does have the Invis rune. He's only level 5. And Vici will get away from a gank attempt, sort of, by this Nyx. So we take a look over. Crystal Maiden's kind of abandoned the lane with End for now. End is level 6, so he does have the Infest possibilities. And coming over from behind, we do have the Oracle with Fortune's End to stop this uh, offlane Earth need be. And it's not really the offlane Earth, it's the Earth Spirit. Radiant 
So the game kind of slowed down. The early goings was uh, quite a bit of kills. We take a look over at Ori. We haven't taken a look, uh, big look mid for that long. And we see this Phantom Assassin level 8. Top of the net worth at 3,900. Doing a pretty good job and has kind of forced Paparazzi off. Off this mid lane. And for Vici, that's uh, very good to have this Phantom Assassin have some open free farm early in this game. Well, the big question is, in July, has that Blink Dagger pre-10 minutes? That's huge, and he's actually going to come over mid. They're going to look for an attempt and see what they can get. Coming over is HYM. He's infested up. I'm not too sure the two of them can make something happen, but they're going to get the Boulder Smash out on the Oracle, as well as the Silence with the Geomagnetic magnetic Grip. And now, just hitting away a Cicada. HYM, very low. One more shot will do it. So Cicada gets one in return, so it's a support for a support for each carry. And again, Vici, I'm not too sure if that was their intention to get caught out like that. But now coming in is Ori as well as Schwan on this Crystal Maiden. They get the Frostbite as well as the, uh, as the Crystal Nova with the stack, uh, Stifling Dagger. And the Phantom Strike is enough attack speed to get the kill on this Ursa. So it's a good turnaround for Vici, who now lead to 6-4. to four, And it's now another death for this Ursa, who's 2-4. and four. Oh boy, so Ori, he's going to be caught out. He has no idea this Blink Dagger is available as well as this Lasso with Chaos, Chaos Meteor coming through. And the Sunstrike, easy kill for IG Vitality. No vision around to know that this Batrider in July is near. And then meanwhile, Nyx is actually going to get caught out top. So 7-5. Not a misplay from Vici. How could he know? Blink Dagger is there pre-10 minutes. That was a fast Blink Dagger uh, for in July. So, very good use of it. Very good show for the first time. So, again, we take a look over mid. Dogfights. He's going to be invis, but the Sentry Ward's there. I'm not too sure if they saw that. We take a look over top. It is Ursa getting the Aegis already at 12 minutes in. And, of course, you know... Not something too crazy about him is he's got that morbid mask and works with the extra gold that's going to be given his way. Dogfights has the vendetta. Might want to go on HYM, but I'm not too sure if he wants to make that move under the vision. Or not under the vision, but under the guise of Vici. So Vici smoke up that's immediately pinged out by Dogfights. Let's see how deep Vici go in and if IGV are ready for this. They know it's coming. They know it's coming their way. And the courier killed on Vici's side as well. So, rolling boulder towards their shrine. They know if they've been spotted out, so they'll just delta maneuver out. So it's a wasted smoke. No courier for two and a half minutes as it was killed by dogfights. A nice bit of gold going the way of IGV. So now they're going to look. Blink Lasso with the Boulder Smash comes in already. The Sunstrike's going to come through. Let's see if they can get a kill. They're not going to find anything just yet. They're looking to get more, but the Guardian's Angel is out. They're working towards Sakata, who's magnetized by a great magnetize on HYM. There comes the Rolling Boulder through on Super. Not going to find it. They're just going to try and back him off as the Aegis has popped on Sakata, but they're looking for more. They're going to Frostbite him again. And now he's going to use that ulti. He's going to work on Yang Gang, getting very low. He'll fall. They've also taken out the Crystal Maiden. Schwan's going to die. And now maybe they might just find more on Dogfights, but they know that Sakata's nearby and he's right in the face of HYM. He's going to be hit by that Boulder Smash and retreating will be HYM. It's a two for two trade. An off laner of support for both teams. They look at this shrine. They look at the opportunity to get that Phantom Strike. They also took out the Ursa's Aegis. So they're going to heal up at this shrine and possibly go in again. So there it is. Smoke with the Crystal Maiden. They're going to look to make a move. Shrined up is the rest of IGV. So let's see if Vici can find anything out. They just need a little bit of vision to get themselves that Stifling Dagger. And Paparazzi, he's not going to show mid just yet. So they're looking. He's by this tower. There's the smoke. It's going to be blown. Backing off his paparazzi, but they're going to get the stifling dagger coming his way as well as the invest. They're going to get the boulder smash as well as the rolling boulder. Paparazzi in a whole bunch of trouble and he'll fall. So they're looking for more. Super's coming their way and he's right into the hands of Vici. They'll get themselves a second on Ori. So that's a double kill for him. HYM is going to try and run away from Sakata, but it's not going to be enough as the flame break's going to push him back into the hands of Sakata. He's not dead just yet. The boulder smash comes through as well as the purification and the ulti from Crystal Maiden will be enough to bring down this Ursa. So they're looking for more in July. He's going to try and run away, but the stifling dagger is going to slow 
him down, and he'll fall for dead on IG Vitality as Vici take an amazing fight by this tier 2 of IGV. So Vici doing very well. They get themselves a big lead on an IG Vitality lineup we thought was going to do very well, especially with that Paparazzi Invoker. But just not enough. As Vici, they take out four, play that fight very well. They do end up losing near Sturd HYM. But they take out so much important cores, all three cores really, on IGV. So 13 to 8, we take a look at this net worth now going back into the hands of Vici after that exchange. And they're going to farm up even more. We take a look over at Ori, who's got himself that Vlad's looking for the Desolator next. And he's got himself a Midas going to go for the Armlet next up. But they are under Ward Vision. They need to be careful in this jungle. Hope they don't get caught out. Meanwhile, up top is Yang. He's going to be looking for a Lincoln Sphere on his own to get away from that Batrider uh, Lasso. And then Crystal Maiden, of course. You're going to be looking for the Medallion and the Glimmer Cape. So, let's take a look over at IGV in terms of items. They've got the Ags almost coming out, out on Invoker. Paparazzi just a thousand gold away. You've only got the Morbid Mask as well as the Phase Boots still looking for that Blink. And I'm not too sure that's going to be the item that really turns the tides. And then over for Batrider. He's looking for the Four Staff with that Blink Dagger. And I'm not too sure that's going to be enough because... You think about it, how quick HYM's been with the reaction time of the Boulder Smash as well as the uh, Rolling Boulder. It's just been really on point. They came in with that that attempt down bottom and immediately Boulder Smash, Rolling Boulder, and that was it. So they're going to lose the Oracle mid. That's my fault for missing that kill, but uh, they also take this Tier 1 Tower, which we are going to catch. And that's more gold into the pocket of Ori, who's just a Mithril Hammer away from a Desolator. So for Vici, definitely feeling their moment right now. Looking for a Desolator next on Ori, which is going to be huge for their team fight with that minus armor. And they have a lot. They have enough to really kite out Cicada. Boulder Smash, Rolling Boulder Slows, Stifling Dagger Slows. It's just, it's going to be a lot for IGV. And they're definitely going to need a BKB on these heroes to really withstand a chance. Especially with Vici, who can pull themselves ahead with a nice lead. So they're going to go for this bottom tier 1. Meanwhile, up top, Sakata, he'll go for a tier 1 of his own. Let's see if Vici make the rotations. I think they're just going to trade. No real reason to make the move over, but they might actually eh, get to go to the bottom. Let's see if they make the rotation before top tower goes down. And, yeah, they go down at the same time. So Ags finished off for Paparazzi, and, you know, he's not someone we've seen... Uh do too poorly on an invoker he's only one two and three not too bad and he can pull himself right back up with a good team fight he's an amazing invoker player can really make or break these fights and uh with one big team fight igv can be right back in control of this game so. Vici just going to continue and be content with farming away. They're going to be looking for a nice Heaven's Halberd out on Lifestealer over on Ori. Just a little bit of gold away from getting himself that nice Desolator, and that's really what they want to be going for. So they've got the Infest out this time. Let's see. It's out on HYM. They're actually looking towards top as dogfights. Is there a sentry ward here? Nobody's invis, so they don't see each other. Now Angel Eye is there with Cicada. I don't think they really need to make their way over. They need to hope. Oh boy, right under the sentry ward. There's the sun strike. They get the kill on HYM. They're looking for more. They get the stun. But now Vici is here. They've got the purification. They've got the rage. And now Dogfights is gonna try and get away. He's gonna be four staffed as well as ulti by Oracle. So, IG Vitality, they run away with one. Vici, they've made the rotation, but it's uh, not enough to save anything or get anything on the retreat towards IGV. So, 
So there are a couple of good sentry wards here in the jungle for Vici. That one's gone. Over here as well. Vici, they really need to make sure that they catch that out as uh, this Nyx Assassin's been doing pretty good work. Dogfight's very good on this hero. So they're ready to go again. They're going to defend this bottom tier one. And let's take a look. Ori, a little bit of lag here from uh, Perfect World servers. Not fun. So just going to continue to farm. Both teams content. Uh, Vici, they were trying to make a move. I'm not too sure if they really wanted to... Um, Make the move with just the Life Stealer and HYM. Maybe not the move they've been doing very well is five, and that's where they've been um, benefiting the most is on those fights. No Sentry Ward in this mid lane for Vici, so IGV dogfights is just going to continue to look, and that ha Heaven's Halberd is for the Ursa. They want to make sure they can take these fights very well, and here they are. This is them looking to smoke again, I would assume. Is Courier going to come through with the smoke? No. All right, never mind. So they're actually going to come through with the rolling boulder as well as the boulder smash. They get the si They get the silence, and uh, Ori is one dagger, and I'm dead. So not much to cast there. That was just a dagger and a death. Try to rev the engines of my casting, and when you throw one dagger and die, that's it. It's, uh, one dagger, and you're dead. So, Vici, I've been focusing on them a little bit too much as we take a look over at Sakata. He's got that blink dagger. Going to be looking for a nice ag, so it should be, uh, let's see. He's got himself 400 gold, so 1600 till he gets that next ags. Uh, next item of ags farming. Uh, Alright, so about 24 minutes, uh, the 24 minute mark till he gets that ags, I would assume. And that's if they don't get killed by Vici. And Vici, they're setting up here again for a nice five-man smoke. They've got the Infest coming out on HYM. Yang, Ori, and Schwan are here. And let's see if they can find anything or if they're just going to go for Roche. They see that Roche is available, but they think about it. And there's a ward placed as well as another sentry ward to make sure that dogfights isn't near them. But they know that the smoke would have been broken. They're coming around towards the shrine of IGV and are yet to find anything here. From IGV. So now they ping out Roche again. The Sunstrike was just thrown. We'll see if they throw it again. But there's the Illusion Rune. There they go and into it. I'm not too sure if, the, if IG Vitality are going to be able to catch this in time. They're starting to work their way through it. It's not the quickest of Roches, but not the slowest either. And let's see what they can do. Vici, they need to make sure that IGV aren't coming their way. But it looks as though they should be alright as Cicada and Dogfights are just sitting stationary down in bottom. So they do get the Aegis this time. It's going to be out on Ori. That's already the second Roche of this game, 22 minutes in, which is something you've got to remember with Cheese coming out on the next one. And uh, we'll have to see who really controls it when the next one comes up. So we actually take a look over top. They're going to try and get the Rolling Boulder as well as the Boulder Smash out on in July. He's very close. Boulder Smash tailing him. Not going to be enough. He'll blink away just... Very close, and uh, Vici, let's take a look. Their net worth, it's not too much. It's only 500 gold. IGV, they have a very good chance of getting back into this game. Paparazzi, he's been left alone to just farm up as much as he can. And, uh, you know, IGV, they have a good lineup to really hold and take some fights a little bit later on in this game. So Vici have to watch out. The longer they let this game go, I think the better Paparazzi is going to be well equipped for this. So there's the Repel Dogfights. That's not going to work, but he's going to have to use that Vendetta. He runs away. Crystal Nova comes his way, and uh, he's already out and good and about. So again, bottom, Sakata, IGV just taking their time, looking for these next items. IGV, they're doing a good job of avoiding these fights. 
That's exactly what they need to do to kind of win this. So Phantom Assassin, yeah, they're okay with uh, kind of sitting back and farming, but IGV are, are uh, content there too. Paparazzi, who didn't have the best of starts, is working on an Ags, has boots of travel, has enough for that blink in just a moment. And really, he's the one I'm watching to bring back v uh, IGV into this game against Vici. And it's really opening the door for IG Vitality with Vici kind of just sitting back a little bit in my eyes. Not taking that opportunity to go as five and really look to take this game and, and take these fights. They did get the Aegis, and with that, they're feeling comfortable to sit back, push these lanes, and farm, but... At the same time, you gotta hope that you find something. And while I say that, the magnetizes out as well as the infest. And here comes the geomagnetic grip out onto Paparazzi. They get the kill. The hero I talked about being the one who's gonna bring them back in is already the first one dead. There's a phantom strike out onto this bat rider, or he gets a kill. And two go the way of Vici, just like that. And I kind of missed the opening on that, but I assume it was rolling boulder as well as a boulder smash infest to go out on Paparazzi. They got the geomagnetic grip to silence him, and then from there is kind of an easy kill. They had the rest of the team, the rest of Vici, really ready to go. So, Sakata just continuing to push. He's looking. Oh, boy. There's the silence as well as the boulder smash. They're going to come on over. There's the ulti used. And now he's going to try and get out as he goes away. But there's the rolling boulder. Can they get the stun? No. Boulder smash not available. But he knew he was there and got the rolling boulder on point. So, they push away Sakata on this Ursa. He's got himself that Ags now, so. Let's see if that does work out for Sakata a little bit later on. So yeah, they lose Paparazzi, they lose in July. The net worth goes back a little bit more into the favor of, of Vici. But again, Paparazzi, he has the ability to farm pretty significantly and... Vici, they need to watch out for this. They need to continue to try and shut down these heroes on IGV and make their movements swift and uh, gruesome over IGV. Well, you do have that Desolator out for Phantom Assassin going for the Abyssal Blade next, working towards that. Already has the BKB. Uh, that's pretty solid for Vici as they're infested on HYM. Does have Rolling Boulder in about 10 seconds. Two of these heroes up top in July as well as Super are going to Delta Maneuver and TP out. Oops. Okay. Sunstrike comes through. They get the kill. They're looking towards Sakata. They know they've got Ori here. Ori with the double damage. They're going to blink on in. The Border Smash is going to miss, but they got the Geomagnetic Grip. They get the blink in with the double damage. It's enough to get the kill on Sakata. So, big core kills for Vici, and yeah, they get a kill on Crystal Maiden for IGV, but if you weigh the differences, it is very beneficial for Vici. So, they use the Aegis a little aggressively, and that's uh, in terms of getting the kill on Ursa. As we take a look over, there's the Tornado for the EMP, but the Repel is going to stop him from losing mana. Paparazzi just going to Ghost Walk and TP out. So even the Gank Tep down low on Yang is not going to be there for IGV, and that's a missed opportunity. It's a hard gank on Yang. The second he gets that Repel out, everything should be fine for Omni Knight um, up against this Invoker. So again, HYM trying to be aggressive with this uh, Life Stealer end, and uh, he's getting close to that AC, just a couple hundred gold away. And Vici, they're going to line up together and look to do it again. Ags out on Injuai, an interesting item for him. He's been farming very well, and he's now third on the net worth for IGV. Top of the net worth overall is Paparazzi. Like I said, he makes a very nice uh, way back into the net worth with his farming capabilities. And uh, his ability to really turn around these uh, fights. Round 
So they're going to move forward. IGV are the ones who smoked up this time. Vendetta is used from dogfights. They're going to be looking for something. They're going to walk. Oh, HYM. He's right into the hands of IG. There's going to be the Impale as well as the Sun Trek. They do get the Lasso. Lasso is going to come out onto the Lifes. The BKB is going to be popped by Ori, who's going to continue to try and work towards getting a kill on IGV. The BKB, not going to matter with that. Nice ice wall, but now slowed on the back end is Yang and N. So now they take a look over at Super. Blinking forward is in July. They've got the repel out on Ori. He's continuing to work. A huge crit onto that Oracle. And it'll be one for one for supports. So they get the stun out. Open Wounds comes out as well as the Spike Carapace. They're going to get him very low, but there's the Guardian Angel. Angel and they're going to use the ult from Chuan. Uh, excuse me, that's Chuan, and they'll get the kill. So the ulti comes through, they get the kill on Paparazzi, we take a look over at Sakata. he's gonna be dead from Ori as well, it's a triple kill for this nice Phantom Assassin of Ori. Wow, I botched that fight, didn't I? <laughs> so VG, they're gonna come on forward, they took out two huge cores on IG Vitality. Yeah, you win some, you lose some in casting, and now, wow, whew, Phantom Strike forward with one big crate, you're gonna back off in July. And now the buyback comes in from Paparazzi. And when you get a buyback this late with the Tier 3s, you need to worry about yourself. There's the Boulder Smash as well as the Rolling Boulder. They've got the Frostbite and the Stifling Dagger, the Purification, the Magnetize. They're looking for more. They're looking to bring down Paparazzi, but the ulti comes out from Oracle. Super trying to keep him alive, but they're continuing to rework this Magnetize. He's trying to blink away. He's trying to get away from VG, but they're going to get this kill on Paparazzi as well as Dogfights. Now they've got the Rolling Boulder coming in onto the Bat Rider. They've got the Silence. They've got the Frostbite. They've got the kill. And Ori's got a double. Everybody dead on IG Vitality. It's all VG here in game one. And it's GG just like that. Vici, they take game one over IG Vitality with ease. And wow, just a stellar performance from Vici. They're looking to win this upper bracket final. And with a 30-minute win and a performance like that, you, you can't say that they're not the favorite to win game two. It all comes down to the draft, though, and we'll be back with that in just a moment. I am your caster, Bcop, at Bcop92 on Twitter. And uh, follow me. Tell me how you like my casting. Tell me anything. Good, bad. Just let me know. I like the criticism. I got to make myself better in all aspects of the game. I know camera work. That needs some work. And uh, let's take a look at the scoreboard. We take a look around the horn of Vici. 13-1 and one was Ori. And, you know, the rest was history. 3-5 and five on Paparazzi. 0-7 oh on Super. Sakata 4-7. You know, he kind of came back. His net worth was all right. So was Paparazzi's, but it wasn't enough to beat the three cores net worth of Vici. And they did very well to win this game one. So we'll be back with game two in just a moment. Stay right there. I'm going to mute my mic this time and get you some music, not the sound of brown keys, uh, brown caps on my keyboard. So we'll be right back. <laughs> 